what up this is benji back with another tutorial on guys uh this really ain't really a tutorial it's just me demonstrating how i make beat in guys uh right now i'm using the standalone mode as you can see it's just nothing connected to ableton right now so it's just me and my process on how i would actually go about making a beat first thing i did was found found a sample which is something that I played uh, a while ago. I just resampled and uh, made it into a beat. And this, this part right here. So what you do is, first thing you wanna do is go to Slice. As you can see, they slicing them all on time for me. Boom, I got my slices. Everything is ready to go. Next thing I did was, I think I pitched it down a few centimeters. Yeah, pitched it down a few semitones. Nothing too major, you know what I'm saying? I just pitched it down a few. Oh, make sure you put it on full, so. I just pitched it down a few semitones. Now, I found my pattern, and I'm going to just play it for y'all. Alright, something real simple, real simple. Uh, I did have this activated at one point, but I took it off. I'm going to reactivate it and see what type of effect we get right now with it playing. It's giving it a, a little effect to it. Alright, cool, cool, cool. So I'ma roll with that. I have a sample right here of me. This is me, uh some old vocals. And right here, this this actually doesn't sound like this. Let me try to find the uh, actual sample that I use. Just chopped them up. I think it was yeah, these. Yeah, 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 yeah. So and that became as you can see over here uh the pitch for the mix is modulated the effect uh i have a morphing lfo on the actual uh panning and i have the time stretch on and it's also have a little bit of morphin', morphin LFO on it, all right? So if you go to my transmile, you'll see this is my LFO right here on a 1 8th uh, note or whatever with the phasing up. The shaping is the same, the swing is the same and everything. So it's giving it this effect. I'm gonna turn that up a little bit so you can hear it because it's kind of dropped in the track a little bit. I just had it dropped in the, in the track a little bit just to give it a little bit of atmosphere to it, you know, something different. Next thing is my, my, uh, all my hi-hats and stuff. I just got them all on one engine. I didn't use none, any effects on it yet. It's a little LFO. It ain't really, it ain't really a lot on there. All right, next I'm gonna go to my next I'm gonna go to my snares. Show y'all a little bit of that. As you 
as you can see, it's, it's nothing major to it. It's just a little lightweight stuff. And I got my drums right here. Alright, so that is what it is. And that's basically it. What I'm going to do with this is take it, put it in Ableton, and then I'll further produce it out. Hope y'all like it. Stay tuned. Subscribe. Hit me up. Peace.